Welcome to Spectrum Sphere, where we bring a world of discovery right to your screen. Today, we're delving into the enchanting world of miniature fairy gardens. So gather your creativity and let's create a magical space together. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get started. Fairy gardens are more than just charming decorations. They have roots in folklore where they were believed to lure real fairies. Today, they serve as a creative escape, allowing us to craft tiny ecosystems that capture the imagination and bring a touch of whimsy to our homes and gardens. Before we begin crafting our enchanting space, let's gather the materials we'll need. You'll want a container, potting soil, miniature plants like moss and succulents, and decorative elements such as small pebbles, twigs, and figurines. Personal touches like fairy houses and tiny furniture will give your garden its unique charm. Moving on to the base of our fairy world, selecting the right container or pot is crucial. It can be anything from a simple terracotta bowl to an elaborate ceramic dish. Just ensure it's deep enough for your plant's roots and has drainage holes to prevent water logging. Now, let's focus on the foundation. The appropriate soil type is pivotal for your plant's health and growth. Use a well-draining potting mix, tailored for succulents if that's your choice of plants. This ensures your fairy garden remains a flourishing oasis for its magical inhabitants. Once you've gathered your materials, it's time to plan your layout. Imagine how your fairy garden's story unfolds. Where will the fairy house sit? How will the paths meander? Consider sight lines, perspective, and ensure there's a balance between open space and plant life. Let's map out a little world that enchants. Choosing plants with varied textures and colors brings your fairy garden to life. Look for small leafed plants like baby's tears for lush ground cover or colorful succulents to mimic miniature trees. Consider how the foliage and flowers will complement your fairy setting, creating a rich tapestry of hues and shapes. Now, let's focus on planting techniques. In miniature gardens, spacing is key. Leave enough room for your plants to grow. Delicate touches are a must. Utilize tweezers for precise placement. Opt for layering taller plants at the back and shorter ones in front to create depth and perspective in your magical landscape. To add dimension to your fairy garden, it's time to create miniature hills and landscapes. Use small mounds of soil to form the hills, then cover them with moss or ground cover plants for a lush appearance. For a dramatic effect, place tiny rocks or pebbles to mimic cliff faces or rugged terrain. Now, let's craft a small fairy house, the centerpiece of our garden. Start with natural materials like bark or a hollowed out pine cone. Add a door using a small piece of wood and windows from slices of clear quartz. For the roof, overlapping leaves or shingles made from acorn caps work wonderfully. Moving on to the next enchanting feature, let's create a fairy garden path. Use pebbles, colored stones, or crushed glass to lay out a winding trail through your garden. This not only adds charm, but also leads the eye across your miniature landscape, allowing fairies to find their way to the magical abode we just crafted. Now let's furnish our fairy sanctuary. For whimsical seating, twist wires into tiny chairs and paint them with pastel colors. You could also use small wood slices for rustic tables or turn acorn caps into decorative bowls. These DIY furniture ideas will give your fairy garden a personal and magical touch. To bring your fairy tale to life, consider adding a miniature pond using a small shallow dish or mirror for that reflective effect. For a charming bridge, bend twigs into an arch and glue them together. These enchanting features will transform your garden into a storybook scene. Now let's choose some fairy figures. These are the heart of your garden. Pick figures that speak to your theme, whimsical, serene, or mystical. Position them where they can be seen, but also look like they're interacting with the environment, next to the house, on the path, or near the pond. With our plants settled, it's time to bring sparkle and texture to our garden. Sprinkle pebbles to line the paths, nestle shells into quiet corners for a touch of whimsy, and scatter gems for a magical glow. These elements will make your fairy garden come alive with enchanting details. Now, let's illuminate our fairy world. 
weave string lights throughout to mimic twinkling stars, or place small LED candles near the fairy structures for a warm glow. Solar-powered lights can also be a magical, eco-friendly option, charging by day to light up your miniature wonderland each night. Moving on to some greenery, let's talk about planting tiny trees and bushes. Start by creating small holes in the soil, then gently place the roots inside, being careful not to crowd the plants. Remember to leave room for growth and consider how the foliage shapes the landscape of your fairy realm. Now, let's make it pretty. When arranging your plants, consider height variations and color combinations to create a visually pleasing scene. Use taller plants as a backdrop and smaller ones in the foreground to add depth. Think about how the colors will complement your fairy structures to bring the scene to life. Adding a whimsical touch, let's craft a fairy swing or hammock. Start with a piece of fabric or a sturdy leaf for the seat. Tie each end to a piece of string or dental floss, then attach it to two trees or tall plants. Ensure it's secure so your fairy can sway gently in their charming new hangout. Now let's craft some tiny accessories for our fairy guests. Create little pots using beads or acorn caps and fashion gardening tools from bent wire or small twigs. These small handcrafted details bring your miniature world to life, adding charm and character to your enchanting fairy garden. Stepping into the realm of imagination, you can tailor your fairy garden to reflect a variety of themes. Consider a winter wonderland with sparkling white pebbles or a mystical enchanted forest using rich green moss and tiny toadstools. Seasonal accents keep your garden dynamic and ever-changing, much like the fairy tales themselves. Now that you've created a whimsical sanctuary, let's ensure it thrives. Caring for your fairy garden plants is key. Most miniature plants need bright, indirect light and regular watering. Be mindful not to overwater and prune any overgrowth to maintain the magical mini landscape you've so lovingly built. As seasons change, so should your fairy garden. It's a living art piece, after all. Transition plants that are out of season, refresh mulch, and repair any weathered structures. Autumn may call for miniature pumpkins, while spring welcomes tiny tulips. This cyclical care keeps the enchantment alive throughout the year. Encountering issues with your fairy garden is normal. If plants wilt or die, ensure they're suitable for the garden's light and moisture conditions. Spot mold or mildew? improve airflow and reduce watering. If figurines keep tipping over, secure them into the soil or consider flat-based designs for better stability. Now let's attract some real-life magic to your garden. Introducing wildlife-friendly elements can invite visitors like butterflies and bees. Consider adding small water features for birds or use native plants to support local insects. Remember, a flourishing fairy garden not only looks enchanting, but also supports the surrounding ecosystem. And why not involve the community in the enchantment of your fairy garden? Invite friends and family to contribute an item or host a fairy garden party. Better yet, start a neighborhood garden challenge. It's a wonderful way to share the joy and deepen your connection with those around you. Now that your fairy garden is complete, let's capture its charm. Take various photos from different angles to showcase its beauty. Afterward, use photo editing apps to enhance the colors and details. Remember, the right lighting can make your miniature world look absolutely magical in pictures. And now, the exciting part, sharing your enchanting creation. Snap some lovely photos and try making a short video tour. Share these glimpses of your fairy garden with friends and family, or take it online. Social media platforms or gardening forums are perfect to showcase your masterpiece and inspire others. As we approach the final touches, let's consider the environment in our fairy garden ensemble. By upcycling items such as old containers, broken pottery, or unused toys, we not only give them a new lease on life, but also add a unique charm to our garden. Use natural elements whenever possible to ensure our fairy sanctuary is as eco-friendly as it is enchanting. In wrapping up, let's do a quick recap. From picking a container, to arranging the soil and plants, to the delight of placing each magical miniature, creating your fairy garden has been a journey of imagination. Each step brought its own sprinkle of creativity, from crafting tiny furniture, 
to choosing your favorite fairy figures. As we draw our fairy garden adventure to a close, remember, the possibilities are truly endless. Personalize your magical space with whimsical touches, like glow-in-the-dark paint for a nighttime sparkle, or welcome real butterflies with nectar-rich flowers. Keep dreaming up new ideas to make your fairy garden uniquely yours. Thank you for joining us at Spectrum Sphere. We hope you found inspiration to create your enchanting miniature world. If you enjoyed our journey through the magical realm of fairy gardens, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more diverse discoveries, and share your delightful creations with our community. Keep exploring.